Hey, 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 flower bloomers. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello, my name is Camilla. I'm a feminine hygiene coach that teaches you how to smell good, how to be a lady, how to act like a lady. As you can tell by the title, in today's video is five things on how keto changed my life as a teenager. And without further ado, let's get inside this video. Hope you guys are having a great day today. <laughs> so the number one thing that changed when I went on a ketogenic diet was my skin. My skin was terrible. Like, when I first started keto, this is how my skin turned out. I know, right? Like... But as soon as I started eating healthy and I started exercising, um, everything started to change. Like my skin started to start glowing. Right now I'm not on keto. I'm on a carnivore diet, which I will be bringing out a video on how it's going. So yeah, my skin started to change when I didn't when I didn't wash my face. Like when I got up to go do my hygiene my face looked like i already washed it and already oiled it up and it looked so good like it was just getting better and better but at that time i i had a picking problem so every single time my skin was doing good and i found a pimple i always popped it and then it spreads and then makes more and then that's how um this what kept happening during that time but keto was helping my skin so the next one is my energy so when i was in the junk food my energy was like <sighs> all i wanted to do is just sleep all i wanted to do is just watch netflix sit in bed not do my chores not brush my teeth not wash my hair not take a shower or anything um yeah like my energy was just off like i didn't feel like doing anything but just lay around but when I got on keto, I started to feel much more better. I started to feel more energetic. I started to become happy, you know? And it was amazing. I started to eat good. And when I ate good, um, I wanted to get up and do more things like run outside and walk around more and stop being inside my room, inside the bed. So the next one is my hygiene. My hygiene started to change. Um, for example, my teeth. Um, when I wake up in the morning, when I was waking up in the morning and I smelled my breath, my breath wasn't like, pfft, like blowing people out the way. Like my breath just smelled normal. Like, you know, you haven't brushed your teeth, but when you sniff it, like, did I brush my teeth already? Like, you know, my breath wasn't stinky. Like, you know, it had a little smell, but it wasn't strong and like horrible, but it was just amazing that was that's the one and my other one was like my um vagina area sorry kui area kitty mama whatever you want to call it papuchi so that started to change um the smell of it my smell started to get more natural um i was dealing with some type of smell but the reason why i was dealing with some type of smell was because of the soap that i was using also, I was eating junk food, so it made it worse. So I changed how the way I eat. Well, my parents forced me to do it, but, you know, after a while, I, I thanked them because everything started to change. So I was like, wow. Like, I started to have a fresh smell. It was just amazing. Like, keto is so, so good. And the carnivore diet. Like, I can't wait to release this video, so stay tuned for that. And, um, yeah. So the next one and the last one is my anxiety and my depression. So starting around um, 2019, somewhere around there, when my parents took me out of school, I didn't have no more friends. I didn't have a phone. I didn't have uh, like people to be around because my parents are like my, I have good parents. Don't get me wrong. My parents are like the best but they are strict so i couldn't really hang around the people that i wanted to hang around because of 
them wanting me to become a good person and didn't want anything to throw me off track so after that I just started to be depressed we couldn't really go outside because of the neighbors and the kids and it's just my parents wants to keep us safe so we didn't really have the good energy around us so we just stay put inside the house so I was just depressed um, I didn't know what to do with my life I didn't know what I liked I thought I loved fashion but I like fashion but I don't have a passion for fashion <laughs> and I was just crying all night and it was just horrible so yeah um, when we moved to Mexico which you know we moved it will be a year since we've been in Mexico but we moved inside of Mexico like we was in Mexico Missouri but we moved to Mexico like Mexico Mexico the country so and my first anxiety in front of my parents um, it was just out of nowhere my heart was beating fast uh, my body got stiff and my fingers was like this and I could not move I was about to pass out I just I, I didn't know what to do so that was my first time I was keeping secrets to myself and I just didn't know what to do so I just let myself be free I told them everything and we changed how the way I ate the way I ate you're probably asking like what food has to do with you the way you eat is how you will be if you eat junk food you will feel like junk like when I was just eating junk food I didn't know what to do I was just depressed I was fat and depressed like here's a pic of me that was around the time I was depressed and fat <laughs> but now I changed the how the way I eat and now this is me I'm on carnivore like I said I'm on carnivore but right now I've been on carnivore for about like almost three weeks keto is the best these are the four things on how keto changed my life and if you don't believe me I have proof of pictures this was me a couple years ago This is me now. I changed how the way I eat. How the way I eat, I became more energetic. I became more confident in myself. My skin started to change and I felt way, way, way more um, confident. Like I said, I wanted to get up, do something with my life. I started making my bed like... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Comment down below anything. If you don't have nothing else to say, don't say it at all. And I love you guys. I hope you have a great day. And stay tuned for the next videos. Bye.